Street. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Stem Kitchen. This is Rebecca. So tell us a little bit about what you do on the Edmonton food scene. I'm a food blogger. I'm also a social media influencer for Edmonton. Big deal. And she's in my kitchen. What are we doing today? We are going to be making a gluten-free vegan version mm -hmm. of an Indian curry, but yeah. we are using the magical mm -hmm. Instant Pot, yes. the latest cooking gadget that everybody is raving about. TBH, I'm not that like hip, so I didn't know it was a big deal until I got one for Christmas. <laughs> what do we do first? Okay, so you're gonna need the pot. The pot that goes inside the Instant Pot. Then we are adding the tomatoes. About one can-ish. And then we are going to put our spices in there. Yeah, boom, nice, good. This is the cumin, <laughs> boof. I like to just stick my stuff in there and just like get it out. It's really good for scraping stuff out. There's the turmeric. Don't touch this stuff. Why? Steam. Oh yeah, look, look, look at this. <laughs> already. It's already on you. Yeah, so I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't suggest scraping that off with your stuff. <laughs> okay. This I forget what this is. What are you? That's a paprika? No, that's, yeah, that's the cayenne. That's, that's oh, the cayenne. No. It's good to check what you got though. <laughs> There we go. I didn't have regular paprika, I just had mm. smoked paprika, so oh, I hope that's okay. Nice. Salt, ooh, hello. Great, in, in, in. Now we have the hard part. <laughs> What's the hard part? A minced teaspoonful of garlic and a minced teaspoonful of ginger. That's the fun part. I'm lazy, I use the uh, jar versions that are already nicely minced up in the oil. I wouldn't call that lazy, I would call that resourceful. <laughs> I didn't even know you could buy ginger in a jar. You can. You can? Yeah. Learning so much. What do you think? What is it? I already forget. Teaspoon. The teaspoon? Yeah, I think that's perfect. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you like to cut garlic. I like to just like stick it in there and twist. Yeah, that, look, that works. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I get my minced in a jar. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I like to stick it in between two of the little bums here and then just kind of twist oh. and then it pops right out. See, I'm learning new stuff too. Yeah. Look at you go with your, yes. you just get right in there. You don't even need a knife. Now what? Now that goes in the pot. Oh, it all goes in the pot. It all goes in the pot. It all goes in the pot. Of course, because everything goes in the pot. <laughs> this is fake meat. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm good for now. <gasps> I'm waiting until it gets all sauced up okay. and picked up and stuff. <laughs> in it goes. In it goes. Oh, this looks like a high tech technique. <laughs> what, what is this called, Rebecca? Shake it up. This is called the shake it up. The great thing about the Instant Pot is you can make a whole entire meal in that. So you sort of stack everything up. So you put a little thingy. I just learned what these were called. What so are they called? Instant Pot. This is called a trivet. A trivet. Yes. A trivet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then you put your inner pot in there. Mm -hmm. And these are as hard as the hell to find as well. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. I'll just borrow yours for now. Here you go. So you can actually get disposable aluminum containers from like dollar stores or whatever. So as okay. long as they're seven inches in diameter, this one's actually eight. Mm -hmm. But I did test it and it does work. Great. Oh, we need a aluminum. Aluminum. Fling. We're never gonna get this out. All of right, here. one second. Let's hold that for now. Fancy, getting fancy in the sun kitchen. Little handles to pull it up. Okay, so awesome. It doesn't get stuck. Perfect. Now we put our rice in there. It's just right in. Yep. Great. And again, use the stump to screw it in. Right in. Mm-hmm. You know, I keep asking right in as if there's going to be a different answer, but everything <laughs> just goes in the pot. And a bloop. And a bloop. Another technical term. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. What? That was... <laughs> 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 yeah, you fit in perfectly now. <laughs> so now it goes um, into the instant pot and we pressure cook it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes! That's it? That is it. What? Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Oh wow. Twist it to lock it. it. Sounded like a spaceship. Oh. Is this important? It is. <laughs> Alright, so we Wait, are Wait, okay. How do you know it's locked? Like <laughs> this scares me a little. <laughs> like is it secure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Alright. Press pressure cook. And we're gonna put that up to 10 minutes. Okay. And it'll beep when it starts. It doesn't just start on its you don't have to press anything? Whoa, great! It's gonna take um, 10 or 11 minutes to get up to pressure. Okay. It's gonna cook for 10 minutes and it'll start beeping when the alarm goes off. That's incredible. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll put her out. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Clear the area. Oh Clear it. It's like done. Taken the chicken. The chicken. Beautiful. Hello! Just go right in! Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Half a cup of coconut oil mm -hmm. and half a cup of coconut milk. <laughs> Here's a little bit. Did you want to try this? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Evening moisturization. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's getting like all kind of like golden. Holy, yeah. My mouth almost watered into oh, wow. it. It was just like I had to catch the goobers from getting in there. Blend it back in. Oh. In. It would have gone in about there. Right after. Okay. Yeah. Well, we did it perfect. We meant to do that. Oh, I'm a saucy can woman. You see that? Awesome. Mm. Holy <laughs> crap. Oh my gosh. It's good. <laughs> I literally just drooled. Rebecca, thank you so much for oh, being here. Welcome. This was amazing. Mm. You really showed me something great today. Awesome. I'm like, thrilled. How do you like the vegan meat? It's good. It's yeah. this Mediterranean. Up. Thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe to STEM Kitchen if you haven't already. For sure, check out Yank Foodie on Twitter, on the blogosphere, on all of the places. You can support STEM Kitchen on Patreon if you want to. Do it! Do <laughs> Hashtag do it! Make this, it's awesome. Make it, put it in your face. We'll see you next time on STEM Kitchen. Bye! Bon appetit! <laughs> STEM Kitchen, STEM Kitchen, STEM Kitchen, gluten free, vegan, eat treats. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's going in the blooper reel. <laughs>